Well, the latest good news from uh, Bobby Wine's camp indicates that uh, he's getting back to stage anytime now. Yes, Bobby Wine is getting back to stage and I'm going to be telling you when he's getting back to stage and actually he's having a concert that is coming up anytime soon and I'm going to be telling you everything right now. And uh, in another news, a student from uh, Busitama University has been shot dead by security guys right there from Mbale um, district. Yes, yeah, so I'm going to be giving you all that news right here. Subscribe to the Buzz UG in case you haven't and also tap on the bell for all the notifications. Now, we all know that uh, Bobby Wine has not been on stage for a long time. Yes, we have been missing him on stage right here in Kampala, right here in Uganda. We want to see him performing for us, man. We really miss him so big time. But um, uh, the latest news we have right now on the Buzz UG in case that uh, Bobby Wine is finally getting back to stage. Yes, he's going to be performing for us right here in Uganda. And according to the latest news from his camp, in the case that uh, he's having a concert that is coming up anytime soon. And actually, that will be next month, the month of March. He's going to be having a concert right there at his beach in Busabala. Oh my God, this is very, very good news, I'm telling you. So we should be happy that uh, our ghetto gladiator is finally getting back to stage. I mean, who doesn't miss Bobby Wine? Who is not missing Bobby Wine on stage? We really miss him so big time. So you should be happy, even if you don't support him politically. But you should be happy that um, he's getting back to stage. Yes, yeah, so for me, I'm really happy that uh, uh, he's getting back back to stage you know he has not been performing for like four years so we really want to see him back on stage and uh, we hope that uh, this time around uh security is not going to intervene into this matter but uh, the latest news we are getting from his camp in case that um, they have already talked to the security and uh, they have allowed that in the month of march uh, he should actually have a concert right there at uh, busabala beach so we are waiting uh, of course to confirm the date when this is happening and of course i'll be letting you know right here on uh, the buzz ug as we all know right now, Bobby Wine is still in uh, Germany where he went to meet with uh, the European Union members and uh, when he gets back, he's going to start off the rehearsals uh, for this particular concert that is happening at Busabala Beach. His beach, by the way, right there in Busabala. One Love Beach, yes, One Love Beach right there. Now, in another news, I told you that uh, uh, a student from uh, Busitama University has been shot dead by security guys right there in Bale district. According to the reports we are getting from that side, this student called uh, Kelly Tumusime was actually moving at around 3 a.m., 3 to 4 a.m. in the night. And um, we haven't known exactly why he was moving at that time. But of course, we all know that uh, curfew is no longer there. Yes, we don't have curfew right now. Maybe he was from partying. Maybe he was from having a good time with his friends and uh, he found these uh, security guys they shot him dead and we haven't known exactly why they shot him dead but um, uh, we are still waiting for Uganda police to say something about this matter and uh, as we speak right now they are still very quiet about this issue but we hope that uh, they will come out very soon and tell us exactly what happened why did they shoot that boy because this boy was a fresher and uh, he was studying sciences right there so it's very very unfortunate let's pray for the family and uh, we hope that uh, you know his soul rests in peace in another news united states of america has put 17 billion for any person who has information about uh, joseph coney we all know that uh, united states of america has been looking for joseph coney uh for about uh, 15 years yes they have been looking for this guy and uh you know joseph coney is believed to be in his uh, 60s yes he's believed to be in his early 60s and uh these guys are saying that if you have any information about joseph coney please give us that information because we need him seriously and uh, we're going to give you 17 billion uganda shillings so if you're ugandan and you're there you're listening to me right now and you have enough information about where joseph Kony is please <laughs> just let that information out so that they can give you this 17 billion just for you but some ugandans are not happy with the united states of america they are saying that uh, in uganda right here we have people who are torturing us we have people in this president museveni's government that are killing us but uh, united 
United States of America really takes long to act on them. Why don't they first come and work on these people other than going for Joseph Kony, who is very, very far? Because uh, things that Joseph Kony did long time ago, they are still happening right here in the country. Yes, they are happening right now. So some Ugandans on social media, they are saying that uh, you United States of America, please be serious. It's better you come in Uganda and you work upon these people that are still doing the same things that Joseph Kony did some time back. Yeah, but of course, uh, that is the latest news that I have on the Buzz UG and definitely I'll keep you posted when I get more information about these stories that I have brought for you, especially that story of Bobby Wine. I'll be following it up. So make sure that you keep with me right here on uh, the Buzz UG. Subscribe in case you haven't and tap on the bell for all the notifications. Thank you.